Now, the cost of livestock feed has limited profits for farmers in the recent past, even pushing some out of farming altogether. However, a group of women farmers in Ndenderu, Kiambu County, have found a new way to bridge the protein gap in a more affordable and sustainable approach. They rear the black soldier fly, whose popularity seems to be growing steadily across the nation. Well, Ray Polo found out why these youthful farmers are not shying away from what some consider a distasteful business. Tucked away in this greenhouse is a rare source of income that both crawls and flies. Organic farming is the mainstay of Nansin Joki and Karen Jeria. They breed the black soldier fly. It is a business that involves getting one's hands dirty, but it yields clean profit. Before we started doing BSF, uh, we are pig farmers. The feeds started going up in prices. And that got us um, interested in wanting to know how do we bridge this gap. The black soldier fly's life begins in these tiny eggs that hatch into larvae through different stages called instars. Instars can be defined as the developmental stage of insects between each mouth until sexual maturity is reached. They mature in age and feeding options through the instars until the adult fly lays eggs and dies. The process lasts just days. In the formative instars, the worms are fed on a mixture of maize jam and wheat bran to hatch. In a matter of days, they graduate to a diet of organic waste. The second feeding is now the waste. For example, we could do the home kitchen waste and the pig manure. You mix them, then you weigh them. So you'll weigh around 8 to 10 kgs. That is the second feeding. And then you'll weigh the insta one or two of the larvae around 250 grams then you feed them on that feed this mud like mound seems still but there is a troop of worms aggressively feeding beneath it they are enjoying their meal in a concealed space away from hoovering predators and adverse weather conditions the ideal temperature here is somewhere between 25 to 35 degrees celsius the warmth propels the worms to speedy growth the larvae of the black soldier flies keep on burrowing just like any other worm and this takes them to the depths of the tray where oxygen levels reduce and temperatures rise because of their activity. That is why farmers often have to turn them through and through in the day to ensure that they feed well and that they don't suffocate. You can't afford to just leave your farm and go do whatever it is and then you come after 14 days, everything will be dead. So it's, it's a farming that you need to put your eye on. This process is a hard one to behold, especially when you consider its effect on the lady's manicured fingers. I remember the day I went for training. I couldn't touch them. I couldn't even look at them. But the love for the worms has grown with the earnings they yield. For us, we are driven by passion. Number one, clearing the environment, making sure that we farm using organic fertilizers and not the inorganic ways. Uh, and number two, uh, the bag, Pesa Iko. Yeah, so it's not, it's a dirty one, but it pays. You will work, get your manicure, get dressed up. It's a nice office. It's very therapeutic. Feels like you're being massaged, like your hands. <laughs> Beyond the active la vie stage comes the timid pupa stage. When they mature, they are separated in a process known as sieving. Their instinctive burrowing skill facilitates sieving. The active larvae fall off to another tray and continue feeding or get harvested as animal feed. The larvae is when we have our optimum protein levels. Penwell Farm produces about two tons of worms every month. You as a fish farmer, the fresh one will do you much more value than the dried one. We've got a lot of vitamins that will not die during the drying process yeah and so many amino acids so your fish will tend to grow faster. If you're doing it for the market you need now to get into the process of drying. Just put it in water. That is usually for sterilizing. And then you can put them just on fire. Like use an um, aluminum tray. Get them to pop. They pop like popcorn, actually. A kilogram of the dried worms goes for between 130 and 150 shillings. So we've got the pet feed for dogs. We've got for cats, aquariums, fish. Try it on chicken. 
feed that chicken and consume it. Then come tell me. It's very sweet. I've done it. The worms that turn dark gray or black in color go dormant for a while before they turn into flies. Their genes will now be transferred into a new colony in a secluded space called the love cage. The cage speaks of improvisation from the beds to the nests and to the leafy patches. Here too, warmth is crucial. It keeps the flies active and enhances breeding. And you need them to be vibrant so that they can lay the eggs. The love cage also hosts blankets that surprisingly are not used for warmth. They act as a sieve, allowing the flies to take in water without the danger of sinking into the water. Meanwhile, the characteristic pungent smell of this farm-made organic paste attracts the flies to egg nests known as eggies. The wooden eggies, you'll tie them around with bands and then leave tiny spaces for the insects to lay the eggs. Then you place the eggies on top of the net. The cycle of life begins again as the eggs hatch into larvae and then pupa and later on adult black soldier flies which lay eggs just days before they die. But the organic approach to farming lives on. The farmers not only feed the worms on waste, but they are also keen to reuse residual feed. After weeks of feeding, the worms leave behind this dark substance called frass. It is also packed as fertilizer in sacks of 50 kilos and sold at 60 shillings per kilogram. <laughs> Traditionally, Kenyan farmers use fish meal and soybean as protein sources for their animals, but both are proving unsustainable, especially to small-scale farmers. Space that you need to grow soya and the space that you will need to grow BSF, you can't compare. Right now, the feed industry is using omena. I also need omena. So, you know, we need to get to that point and decide, is it the pig that will eat omena or is it me? Njoki and Jeria often employ up to 10 workers on the farm. They also train those who are interested in agribusiness. Farmers across the nation are warming up to the idea of worm farming in the hope that it will provide a reliable, sustainable, safe and cost-effective source of protein for livestock. Ray Polo, Citizen TV, Ndenderu, Kiambu County. All right, fantastic.